the question about 3D, the touch flow of 3D is question number two. And it's only question number two and we're already talking about this. Uh, Okay, this is something that I usually will not share in a public. Inside HTC Touch Diamond, there is a GPU. Uh, GPU is, you know, is one of those graphics processor, dedicated hardware graphic processor that you find in an Xbox, in a PS3, uh, in a PSP. In, you, know, you find those things in the game machines. And uh, a GPU is capable of computing multi-million polygons per second. So when you are playing Quake, uh, when you are playing all these like games on the you know, PlayStation, uh, in real time they are computing a 3D environment. Right? So it, there is literally a, a equivalence of a Sony PlayStation inside the HTC Touch Diamond. But it's not a game machine. We're not trying to make a game. Our mission, as I share with you downstairs, it's not, it's not even about 3D. You know, who cares about 3D? If you are just doing 3D for the sake of 3D, then that's, that's not that meaningful. And we set out, when we started this project, we set out to change how people think about the phone, right? And we did not start with 3D. We started with what we want to do. What we want well, to do in the physical world, you flip through your Rolodex. You don't look at a computer list, right? In, you know, in the Rolodex, you, know, you actually have something on the side where you can grab and then just you know, move up and down. And then when I release it, it just flipped to exactly that business card that I want to look at. Uh, if you have a bunch of cards in front of you, do you need to learn how to flip it? No, I mean, you just intuitively reach out and then flip through the cards. And that's how you get to simplicity. How, that's how you bring simplicity to that level that is just second nature, it's just innate. Right? And because of that, our world is 3D, so we want to mimic a lot of the 3D experience. Uh, when, when you see the cards flipping, these are real. You know, this is like really, on a, you know, think of a P, the Sony PlayStation, a real 3D environment, the card is actually flipping down. And each card really is the picture of your friend. And it's being, you know, computation is being done at multi-million calculations per second to look at this car in every angle. It, it literally is like a game. It literally is a game. You asked me about 3D computation. Uh, touch flow 3D is not just this kind of realistic, very beautiful experience. Uh, 3D computation actually take into something that's much more difficult. When I go to, you know, when I see the weather, see the raindrops? This is real water. This is not graphics. This is like when you play the Sony PlayStation and when you actually have water splash into something, this is real time computed. Uh, and when you have uh, foggy, you know, the cloud, you, you know, uh, for people who are into, you know, computer graphics, uh, you know, the most difficult things to do in 3D in that game machine is fogs. You know, it's smoke, that's the most difficult thing. This is not graphics. This is not some you know, graphic designer that just you know, draw a picture right here. This is just like a game machine uh, where this is being rendered in real time. Uh, sun really means sun. You know, the sun ray is really sun ray. SMS is a very important part of the form. Uh, we don't want to do another IM. You know, the threaded SMS, you know, that's, all, uh, that's not innovation anymore. Uh, people, that, that is kind of expected. We want to take it to a different level. It's not functionality anymore. So we think about how we talk to each other. Uh, we are not really talking to it, but if we have two people talking each other, uh, to each other, you know, sentences actually you know, get bounced back and forth. And that's why we you know, design SMS in this way. And this actually takes advantage of TouchFlow 3D as well. You know, when the text actually move up and turn, see how the text actually you know, rotate? That's real 3D. The important rotation. point is to think about even something as mundane as SMS, how to make it in motion. Let me show you internet, you know, web browsing on the phone as an unsatisfying experience. And there is a reason behind that because you are trying to squeeze a big page into a tiny The problem screen. is big page on small screen. 
when you first land on a web page, you want to see the web page the way the publisher or the designer intended for you to view the page, right? Which means full screen. It's important to be able to let the user see the entire view of the page. But if I want to look at a certain area, I just double click on that area and you zoom in. And then of course I can move back and forth. Uh, just like you were shifting a sheet of paper back and forth. Double click to zoom back out. Uh, you can flip up and down the page. Uh, zoom into any place. Uh, if I want to see the picture right here, let me zoom into this picture. And uh, the links, of course, work the way you expect it. If I you know, click on the link, uh, it would actually go to that page. Uh, so I click on the card, and then it's, you know, it's opening, I guess, whatever that article about that card is. Uh, it's loading the page in real time. Now, here is where the real innovation comes in. So you look at this page. Of course, what I want to do is, after I see this page, I want to read this article, right? But if I click here and then you zoom, you know, this, this line of text is going to be this big, right? It's going to be wider than my phone. And then when I read the article, I have to move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Is that what you want to do? Of course not. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's, what, that's why mobile internet has not been that successful. So we, we spend a lot of time thinking about how to solve this. If we just zoom to the width of the column, then the text will be too small, right? I mean, that's what you see, you know, that's what, you know, there are some other form where when you double click, it actually zoom to the width of the text. Uh, but that does not always work, especially when you, have a, when you have an article that is pretty big. And it also requires the phone to be very big and very bulky in order for that to work. And that's not what most consumers want to have. So we came up with a solution that when you zoom, it actually <laughs> zooms to the right level, and then it actually reflows the text into one single column. And this all happened in about half a second, so you have to watch very carefully. You know, if you're going to miss it if you don't pay attention. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double-click this column, hit zoom, and then reflow. So double-click to zoom in. So one side, so I literally can read through this article, just like when I'm reading newspaper. I talk about this philosophy, you know, mimicking the essence of the real world.